Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Sorry for not to be yesterday. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. There is no problem. Emergency. Okay, but is everything okay now? Uh, was my it was my dad uh, he's yesterday he uh... uh but is he alive what is your father good my father is uh is uh, 70 years old and he is sick and uh, oh. yesterday was worse okay. well i'm sorry Violeta. i have that he recovers soon i know it because of the age it's a little bit difficult yes but well we can trust god we know that Everything is his decision, right? It's on him. Okay, don't worry. So, um, Marlene can catch you up. Ahí la puede poner en contexto of what we were talking about yesterday. ¿Qué estuvimos viendo ayer? Mm -hmm. okay. Yo. Y yes, Marlene. Good evening. Um, yesterday we talked about oh, have you ever? Oh, in that case, we were talking about present perfect, right, guys? Per uh huh. Present exactly. perfect. Exactly. We were talking about the present perfect and also the simple past, right? Yes. Okay. Give me a moment. Intermediate one. Okay. So this is what we were talking about. We were doing the past participles of the verb. We were talking about the past participle. Okay. Um Ese es el simple past. <clears throat> Let me see. Simple past. Vaya, estábamos entonces hablando del simple past, que simplemente hablamos con el verbo en pasado. Aquí tenemos que aprendernos los verbos en pasado, ¿ok? But, eso ya lo vimos también. Count now, count. Espérenme, guys, que se me... Se me... Eso ya lo vimos. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ya estaba muy atrás. Hoy sí, aquí vamos con el present perfect. Ok. To talk about present perfect. Eh, and the difference about the simple past is that the present perfect is an action that is still continuous or recent, just finished. Ok. And we were doing some affirmative sentences with the subject, los have or has. Un participio y les mandé unos verbos para que se los aprendieran. Más un complement. So, dijimos, I have been an English student for five months. He sido un alumno por cinco meses. De inglés. Ok. You have been an English teacher since 2010. También we were talking about some expressions. Por ejemplo, since, for, already, yet, uh, recently etc. Eh, those are expressions to talk about the past, eh, well, the present perfect. ¿Ok? Tenemos también esta expresión ever para ocupar un present perfect. Um, now, what it was the structure for the present um for the negative present perfect, guys. Uh, 
Uh, you have seen beautiful uh, views in El Tunco. As, tu has visto bellos, bellos paisajes o buenas vistas en El Tunco. Okay. Vamos, eh, in negative. ¿Cómo sería esto en negativo? She has um, written. She has written several books. Those are affirmative. Now, in negative, I have not been able to speak. No he podido, no he podido hablar. I have not been able to speak. I have not been able to speak. Tercera persona sería? Has. She has, has. not been able to speak. Okay. What about these, these guys in negative? I have not. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Okay. I have not been an English teacher. Okay. And what else? What else? What else? Pero, quiero ver. Voy a quitar esto. Tenemos aquí las expresiones, ¿verdad? Ahora, guys, para preguntas. ¿Cuál es la estructura de las preguntas? <clears throat> una WH question have or has the subject plus parts plus plus participle and then the complement yes where have you been have you been able to speak ayúdenme con otros ejemplos please where have you been Uh -huh. Ahí tengo ese, ese ejemplo yo. Where have you been? ¿Dónde has estado? Háganme preguntas de estos dos, por ejemplo. Make questions, please. Guys, si no me hacen preguntas, les voy a dejar, les voy a dejar tarea a todos entonces. Ok, para que lo, para que las veamos mañana porque demasiado callados se quedan últimamente. I need to know if you understand this topic. Ok, quiero saber que de verdad comprendamos el tema. Where? Sí. What? Huh? 20... Where? Where have you? Where have you worked? 20... Yes. Work. Okay. Where have you worked? The ¿Dónde field. has trabajado? The... Where have you worked? From the last years five ago. years. I'm sorry. Years. Yes, uh, from years ago. No, es que si digo ago es pasado. Okay, mm. por eso es que no. Eh, estamos hablando de expresiones con un present perfect. Ago es pasado. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Entonces se, se, se diría, Where have you worked? Um, this week. ¿A dónde has trabajado? Porque no ha terminado, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y si en todo caso hablamos de pasado, dir, diríamos, Where did you work? Where did you work? ¿Ok? Um, uh, la... So, where did you work two months ago? ¿Dónde trabajaste hace dos meses? Two months ago. Es expresión del simple past. Esta es expresión del, esta ya son expresiones del simple past. Acá está, ago. Two months ago, three days ago, cualquier cosa ago. Two months, two weeks, two days ago, etc. Eso ya es en pasado. Ok. Vamos con el present perfect otra vez. 
Subject, ya vimos la estructura para preguntas. Para um, afirmación, ok, ahora, where have you worked? Last for the, fi uh, the for five for the last five months. ¿Dónde has trabajado los últimos cinco meses? Where have you worked? Last five months. Okay. Where have you worked? Okay. Y aquí sería. My mom has been to United States twice. And what is the question? Where your mom has traveled? Been or travel? Vaya, otra vez, sería where your mom, veamos la estructura. Where your mom has traveled. Okay, está correcto, guys. In the last years. En los últimos años. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, is this correct, so, guys? Veamos la estructura, please. Check, check, check. The structure, guys, what is the structure? The instruction is each question the uh, the auxiliary. Uh -huh. Entonces. Mm. Cambiemos el orden. Sería. Where has your mom traveled? Ajá. Where has your mom traveled? Excelente. Ahí estamos. Muy bien. Vamos a poner primero has o have. ¿Ok? Y después el, el sujeto. ¿Ok? Gracias, Violeta. Los demás como que se quedaron ahí como que no sabían, pero qué bueno que usted sí lo pudo identificar. Sería, where has your mom traveled? ¿Dónde ha viajado tu mamá? Ok, guys. Vaya, where have you worked this week? How do you answer? Yes, I have worked. Excellent. But week. where? Where have you worked? I've worked in my company. Very good. All right. How many days have you worked, Hector? I have worked, worked? Uh, five, five days. Very good. How many days has... Uh, Hector worked, Carla. Hector has worked five days. Very good. He has worked for five days. Very good. Excellent. And Carla, have you worked uh, this week? Yes, I have worked. This work. week. You have worked work. this week. Okay. Uh, have you been in your house or have you been in the company? I have been in my house. Oh, so do you work from home? Yes, I work in my home. Okay, in Rebecca. Excellent. So, does does uh, does Carla work from home? 
Yes, she works from from home. She works for home. Okay, from home. Uh, how has she worked this week in this in the company? No, she hasn't. Excellent. She hasn't worked. Very good. Excellent, guys. And um what about Anderson? Have you have you been Cuando pregunto si hay, ha viajado, puede decir, have you traveled? O puede decir, have you been? Have you been to Japan? No, I haven't traveled to Japan. Traveled or have never been to Japan. Very good. Have you ever alguna vez? Very good. Uh, Gisela, has, uh, has Anderson ever traveled to Japan? No, Anderson never. No, Anderson. Ha, Anderson has never mm -hmm. been Japan. or traveled to Japan. Mm -hmm. He has never been or he has never traveled or he has not traveled to Japan. Very good. What about you, Gisela? Have you traveled to uh, Asia? Asia. Asia. Cualquier país asiático. Asia. 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 No, I haven't. I haven't. I. I. I have never traveled. To Asia, Asia. To Asia, okay, Asia, okay. Asia. Um, let me see. Let me ask Marlene. Marlene, have you ever visited uh, Guatemala? No, I haven't no? visited Guatemala. You have never been to Guatemala, okay? So. Um, Guys, que, que poquito sabemos los demás. No sé si están por aquí. Claudia, are you there? Vaya, chicos. Ya terminamos con el present perfect. Acuérdense de las expresiones que dijimos, ¿verdad? Puedo decir el for o puedo decir since. Pero, ¿cuál es la diferencia ya con el simple past? Veamos la estructura de un simple past. One moment. Ok. Present perfect. Ahí está la estructura. Y ahí estaba para hacer las preguntas. Ok. Now. Teníamos las diferencias entre el simple past versus present perfect. Dijimos que en uno el simple past se ocupa para ya hablar de eventos terminados. Y para el present perfect estamos hablando de eventos que puede ser, bueno, que eh, los ubicamos en un momento específico, desde el pasado hasta el presente, ¿ok? Puede ser que acaba de terminar algo, por ejemplo, uh, we have read, acabamos de leer, ¿verdad? we have read the instructions, we have uh, reviewed, acabamos de revisar, we have just reviewed the... The present perfect. Now we are going to review the simple past. Okay. Eh, the, the structure. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Miren la diferencia. En lugar de have o has, ocupo. Did. We use did. Okay. Y obviamente si es el verbo en pasado, solo ocupo el sujeto y el verbo. I worked. I went, I studied, I uh, came, vine, uh, what else? Cualquier verbo en pasado, esa es la estructura. Ok. Eh, miren, last month, para hablar del pasado también. ¿Qué más? A aparte de last month que les dije ayer, guys, last week, yesterday, this morning, cualquier expresión que ya... Se, se, se hable de que ha terminado. So we talk about simple past. Y 
El pasado de los verbos, guys, son dos formas diferentes. Uno del verbo to be y otro de los demás verbos. Okay? Son dos cosas diferentes. Por ejemplo, eh, were you? Uh, were you at home? Uh, were you in the class yesterday? Violeta, were you in the class? Pasado. Were you in the class? Se ve un poco cortado. Were you in the class yesterday? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Very good. Ahora bien, eh, si yo le pregunto con el pasado, guys, ya si, si se fijan el verbo to be, was or were al inicio, pero los otros verbos sí son diferentes, guys. ¿Y para qué ocupamos también los verbos en pasado? Para hablar de procesos. Ah, primero hice esto, después hice esto, después esto y esto y esto y esto. Y probablemente usted puede hablar hasta en el futuro, ¿verdad? Eh, yo estuve haciendo esto, ahora hice esto y estoy haciendo esto y voy a hacer esto. ¿Ok? Para eso ocupamos las sequence adverbs. Que vamos a, vamos a repetir, repeat guys. First, vamos First, no es fierce. First. 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 Finally. Finally. First. 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 I was, you were, pero siempre que vaya en pasado, right? Past. The verb in past. Subject verb in past. Y eso es todo. Después un complement. Okay. I was in my house. I went to my job. I ate pupusas. Um, my mother uh, or oh, my brothers were busy yesterday because they went to San Salvador. Dos verbos ahí. Estamos ocupando el verbo to be y cualquier otro verbo. La misma estructura en afirmación. ¿Ok? Pero... Tenemos el presente, el, perdón, el pasado de los otros verbos. Pongo entonces, la estructura, guys, es la misma. Verbo to be, perdón, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero en negación, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Subject. Plus, did it. Ah, muy bien. Did. Para los otros verbos ponemos entonces did not y el verbo principal de forma presente. Presente, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Thank you. O sea, de forma base, el verbo, ¿ok? Subject did not and then the verb in base form plus the complement. Entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura del verbo to be? Lo mismo en presente afirmativo, perdón, lo mismo en pasado, pero en afirmativo, sí. Pero en negativo, ¿cuál es la estructura? Subject, verb, in past y el not, ¿verdad? Más un complement. You were not at the hospital. Con los, otros, con los otros verbos, no. Ponemos did not y el verbo no, no lo cambia, ¿verdad? Si es pregunta, el verbo to be, simple, simplemente se pone el verbo primero y después el... Subject. Un subject, very good. WH question. 
Then the verb to be y luego el sujeto. Were you a teacher? Were you in the house? Were you at the beach? Ahí está. Where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? Ahora bien, si estoy preguntando, where did you go? ¿Cuál es la estructura entonces, guys? Sería WH question plus did y después un subject. Y después del subject, el verbo principal. Los complements. Vaya, ahí estamos. So, ask me a question, guys, in simple past. Cualquier cosa que ustedes me quieran preguntar en pasado, please. Did you hear that, guys? Yes, teacher. No. <laughs> yes, we... Where did you finish your career? Excellent. When or oh, where I finished my career, sujeto, verbo. Okay, good. I finished my career from the Universidad of Del Salvador. Another, guys. Where did you go uh, on vacation? I didn't go anywhere on vacations. And more questions, more questions, more questions. What do you have for breakfast today? Do? What do you have for breakfast today? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar, guys? Eat. El do es para el presente, el did es para el pasado, ¿ok? What did you have for breakfast today? Oh, oh, what did you have for breakfast today? Uh -huh. I had... What did I have for breakfast? ¿Qué comí yo? What did I have for breakfast? I don't remember what I had for breakfast. However, um, I think I had... A, I think I had a mango fruit, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> Ok, good guys. Vamos a preguntarles entonces ahorita. Ok, les voy a preguntar en present perfect y en simple past, ok. Are you ready, guys? Ready, teacher. Ok. Eh, Violeta. Did, did you see your mother today? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, no. What? What? What what for? did you did you see your mom today? Se escucha un poquito entrecortado y pueden oír. Answer Marlene. Teacher, ¿puedo responder yo? Sure. Thank you. I didn't see my mother today. I didn't see my mother today. I didn't see my mother today. Muy bien, thank you. Um... Okay. Mm, I did not see. Okay. Rebecca, were you in the class yesterday? No, I wasn't. I okay. Here. 
Okay, Hector, was Rebecca in the class yesterday? No, she wasn't. Okay. Hey, Rebecca, did you work yesterday? No, I didn't. Did she uh, work um, yesterday, work. Amanda? I didn't work yesterday. Excellent. Nice answer. Good answer. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Did Rebecca work yesterday? Uh, yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No, she didn't work. Was she in the class yesterday? Was she in the class uh, yesterday? Uh, yes, she did. She did. In class. Was she in the class? Acordémonos que estamos viendo dos formas de pasado. El verbo to be, que es con el que le acabo de preguntar, y con el did, que son con los otros verbos. Was Rebecca in the class yesterday, um, Anderson? Sorry, can you repeat this, classmate? Please, Gisela, can you answer? No, she wasn't. Did she work? Yeah. Yes, she did. Oh, yes, she worked. No, she didn't. Ah. Hey, did you go to the school this morning, Gisela? No, no, I didn't. Have you gone to the school this week? Please repeat. Have you gone to the school this week? <laughs> Anderson answered. No, no, I didn't go to the, my school. Okay, I didn't go, pero yo le pregunté, have you gone to the school this week? No, I haven't. I haven't gone. I didn't go, go I haven't gone. Acordémonos, uno es presente perfecto, el otro es simple past. Ocupo didn't go o I haven't gone. Ok, por ejemplo, eh, si yo le pregunto, have you, been, eh, have you been in the class the whole week? ¿Han estado toda la semana? In the class, have um, you been? Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I have very been. good. Very good. Ahora, ¿cómo les preguntaría? ¿Estuvieron en la clase ayer? Vamos a ver. Have you been in the class yesterday? Ahí sería, han estado en la clase. Where, el pasado, where are you? you? Muy bien. Were you in the class yesterday? Acordémonos. Sí, estuve. Yes, I was. No, no he estado. Uh, no, I have not been in the class. Ok. Pasado simple, guys. No he estado. Ok. Um, Violeta. Vamos a ver. Have you... Uh, have you... What is... Uh, have you driven today? Have you driven a car today? No, I haven't driven a car today. You haven't driven a car. All right. Marlene, has Violeta driven a car today? No, she hasn't driven a car. Do you drive, Marlene? 
No, I, I. You don't? I don't. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. Uh, Amanda, do you drive? Yes, teacher, sometimes. Did you drive last uh, last week? Yes, I didn't. I didn't es negativo. No, yes, I did. Pero yes, el, I... El, mi pregunta es, did you drive? Si yo digo, yes, I did, o digo, yes, I do, no estoy hablando en pasado. O sea... Mi intención es que hablamos en con los verbos en pasado. Entonces sería. Did you drive? Eh, sería yes. Sujeto. Yes. I. Verbo en pasado. I drop. Muy bien. Yes, I yes, drop yesterday or last week. Last ok. Week. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, When, um, mm, ya no hay a quien preguntarle. Jocelyn, do you, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, I'm here. I'm going for teacher. Okay. H Hector, did Amanda drive last week? Yes. She, she did, she dropped. She dropped, verdad? Yes, she dropped. Okay, very good. And did Marlene drive last week? No, I drove. No, no, mm -hmm. yo no manejé. Last week. What is the answer, Hector? Yeah. The answer, the answer is is yet she drove. Yeah, no, she uh, no. Okay. No, mm -hmm. she 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 drove. Last week. Negative, 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 guys. She didn't draw. He didn't drive. He didn't, no, didn't, 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 didn't drive. Didn't. Acordémonos que el verbo no lo cambio, ¿verdad? He didn't drive. She didn't drive. She drove. Verbo. Pasado. Sujeto y pasado. En negación. Verbo. Sujeto. El, después el didn't y el verbo en presente. Siempre que ocupamos did para preguntar y negar, no cambiamos el verbo. Please remember that. Um, vaya, perfecto, guys. Qué bueno que ahora somos poquititos porque rapidito pues podemos manejar lo, este tema. La verdad que lo siento que es bien fácil. Now, guys, tenemos entonces los... Uh, sequence adverbs y quiero que pongan atención en esto ok, ahí está por ejemplo cómo preparar algo así que eso es lo que ahora vamos a de, vamos a practicar how do you prepare scrambled eggs for example how do you prepare scrambled eggs eh, y ocupamos oh, first of all primero que todo um, I um, I cut the vegetables, I put onion, I put also um, green pepper, I add some salt. I also put, well, at the beginning, I put some oil in the pan. And then I melt or mix all the, the vegetables. After that, I... Uh, Pour, como que tiro el huevo, I pour the egg and then I mix it until it's well cooked, hasta que esté bien cocinado. Then I serve it and I really like to eat beans um, as with scrambled eggs and cream. Me gusta acompañarlos con frijoles y cremita. So that is something that you can give me, pero también le voy a poner 
el video. Ya vimos que vamos a hablar de solo el presente perfecto y el pasado, ¿verdad? So, we already read this part. We know the difference between the present perfect and the simple past. So, we're going to do the knowledge check right now. Listen to the audio, please. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Hi, brains. All right. Okay, guys. So the first one. Has Kathy ever eaten snails? Yes, she has. Yes, she has. She has. Yes, she has. He... Last week. week. Last week. He ate snails. Sí, ha, ha comido, ¿verdad? Eh, ella comió tal fecha. Okay. The second. What did she what did Steve order? ¿Qué pidió Steve? Steve ordered the fried brains. Fried brains. Ordered the fried brains, okay? True or false? The simple True. past tense it involves events that happen in the past and have been completed. True. True. Okay. Los que no han sido completados entonces son a cuando hablamos con present perfect. Okay, so what is the correct response to the questions? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. Very I cool. went to a Mexican restaurant last weekend. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. What is the correct response to this question? Did you drink Perfect. coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I have, yes. I did. Yes, I did. I have I some on my way to work. Yes, I did. I have some. I had some. Vaya, cuando ustedes solo me digan did, yo lo considero muy básico porque en todas las preguntas siempre decimos yes, I did, yes, I did, yes, I did. No, ¿verdad? La idea es que, ni, que me hable con el verbo, ¿ok? Que es, hable o practique el verbo. Yes, I did. Sí lo puede decir. Y después, oh, I had some. Oh, did you go to the church? Yes, I did. No, yes, I went. El verbo, ¿ok? Para eso necesito que aprendamos verbos. Ok. Eh, guys, did you celebrate Christmas? Yes, I did celebrate Christmas. Yes, I did, o solamente, yes, I celebrated, I celebrated, digo el pasado del verbo. Yes, I celebrated la Christmas last year. Me equivoqué yo. Ok. Um, did you travel to the United States last year? No, I didn't travel to the United States. Excellent. Okay. Did Carla travel to the United States? No, she, no, she didn't. She didn't travel. She didn't travel, travel. to the United States. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, did you go? Did you go to Europe last year? No, I didn't. I didn't? I didn't. I didn't went. I didn't no, went? I didn't, I didn't travel. To travel? I didn't went. Is that correct, guys? Went? I didn't no. went? I didn't go. Ajá. I el verbo no lo cambio. Recordemos cuando digo didn't, ¿verdad? Okay, I didn't go. All right. And... 
Did Rebecca go to Europe? No, she didn't go. She didn't go to Europe, okay? To Europe. Good. No. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Let's see another one. Uh, 4.3 si es que miren guys solo estos son esas es son la, las dos clases que nos quedan miren knowledge check y los adverbios de frecuencia este esta es una sección de cinco cositas se fijan verdad super super fast super super rápido So, the lesson point three, guys, can you read for me, please? Me? Go. Sequence are where I used to help describe and progression of events often used in receive or instruction. Recipes. Sequence are where such a... Precipits. Sequence are where such a first, then next, after that. And finally, contain information about the order of action and created natural transition in writing. In this lesson for English teacher, Joy Sands practice describing receive in English using sequence at birth. This lesson includes in English an oral comprehension exercise. Thank you. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe progression of events. They are used in recipes, okay, or instructions. The adverbs can be first, then next. Finally, they, they contain actions. Actions, aquí no me leyó la S. It creates, cre it create, no, no lleva de eso, lo se dice create, okay, create natural. Natural trans transition since writing. Okay, guys. Thank you. So let's do, let's do the second part for the sequence words. Okay? Tomen nota de cómo se de cómo hablan dando las eh, instrucciones de cómo hacer ciertas cosas. Hay cinco cosas que hacen ahí, así que pay attention for this, guys. An avocado and mash it. Next, you chop y ustedes me lo van a decir después cómo se hace cada cosa, ¿les parece? Pay attention, guys. ¿Ok? Hello, 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 Vaya, pay attention, guys, please. Hello, ya les voy a preguntar cómo se hace class, cada cosa. Will be able to how to food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Guys, do then you hear? heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels yes, no. and cover the pan. When the kernels start okay. to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. 
After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So, for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore, we use different words to explain And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that i would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So, for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So, for example, we use first, we use then, we use next we use after that and we use finally so I would like for you to do something similar but explaining your favorite food recipe okay so as I mentioned uh, what is one of your favorite food guys first of all do you cook or you don't cook yes, I cook. I cook. who cooks here nobody Yes. Um, I yes. like to cook, teacher. Mm -hmm. You like to cook, Amanda and, and Janelle yes. like to cook, okay? I don't like to cook, guys, but I have to cook. I eat it por fuerza, right? I have to cook. Me too. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I, what, my favorite food 
is uh, the scrambled eggs, creo que los huevos picados. Why? It's easy, porque eso sí es fácil hacerlo, right? But I don't like to cook soup or any other, like, turkey, kid chicken, for example. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, guys. So how do you prepare your favorite food? Uh, Marlene, do you cook or you don't? I... Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. No, I cook every day. For your family, day. right? Yes. But I hate to cook. How do you say huevo estrellado? Ah, you don't like scrambled eggs. No. You hate I cooking hate, scrambled I eggs. I really hate to cook this. Really? Yes. I don't know why, but... What I don't like to cook are the sunny side up, los que son estrellados. Eso sí, I don't like it. I don't like the 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 green part of the of the the egg. So I prefer to do the scramble egg. Okay, but uh, what is your favorite food, Gisela? Do you cook or no? Never. I don't cook. I don't cook, but I like the chicken you like chicken it's your favorite food yeah. okay uh, how does your mom prepare the, the this uh this chicken if you like chicken how does your mom prepare chicken <laughs> como lo prepara ella I don't know. Okay. Frito. Ah, she uh, fries. She fries the chicken. Ella lo fríe. She fries the chicken. Pero normalmente, guys, what does she do? Si usted tiene el pedazo de pollo, ¿qué es lo que hace primero? Let's think about it. Okay? I don't cook, as, as I said before, but I understand that you have to clean the cook, the chicken, right? You have to clean the chicken. I normally put some lemon, all right, uh, to clean it. And then I cut it into the small pieces. Then I put some water and I boil the uh, the, the boil the, the chicken. Sometimes I add vegetables and I prepare a soup, or sometimes I only boil the chicken and then I put some salt and pepper and then I fry it. That's it. Si lo quiero hacer así más fácil, sal, sancochado o salcochado. Okay? But if you want to prepare the soup, so then you, you can say, I cut the vegetables, I add uh, the, um, the salt, you add pepper. What else do you put in a soup, guys? What else do you put in the soup? Apio. Ah, okay. You add celery. Celery. Uh-huh. Surrender, Pero, cilantro, they are delicious as well. Ah, la, vaya, ya decimos, I add, I put, I uh, sour, como que, um, uh, let's see, um, sprinkle, I rociar algo. Say, yes. How do you say whiskey? Whiskey? Yeah. I don't have an idea. Pero los que sí, igual los pipianes son, son, son nombres bien autóctonos, guys. Ok, entonces, pero la vez pasada estaba viendo unos whiskiles. ¿Cómo, cómo poder decir pipianes? Los whiskiles no los encontré. Pero... Mmm, hay... Squash, teacher. Sorry? Squash, ¿verdad? Me... Squash. Uh -huh. Los squash, ajá, es el tipo de, es de, de, así como los pipiancitos. Los de whisky, si no encontré, guys, para serles honesta, no sé cómo decirlo. I will say whisky because I believe it's a traditional uh, teacher. Ajá, vaya, otra, es otra forma que le dicen, ¿verdad? El chayote. But, teacher, in my uh -huh. case... I don't like I don't like to add uh, pipianes. Pipianes. Ah, 
E Esses desse... são os squash, ok? Squash. Ok, so, well, it depends, right? So, how do you prepare it? Ese es, es el punto. Así que mañana me dicen cómo preparan algunas de, esas, de las cosas o cómo se... ¿Cómo las hace su mamá si en caso no los cocina usted? La idea es que hablemos de un proceso, ¿verdad? O lo podemos hacer así. Ah, oh, you know, this is my week. Ok, first, me puede describir todo lo que hace un día. For example, first I wake up very early, then I brush my teeth, uh, well, or I have my breakfast. Later, puede decir later, after that, la idea es que me vaya mencionando los adverbios de de secuencia, ¿ok? So, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Sí, por favor, prepárense cualquier cosa que tengan en mente que van a ser ustedes los presentadores mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow, hey, guys. Bye, bye. 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 Acuérdense, su tarea es explicar cómo hacer un proceso. Si quiere hablar de su día, está bien. Y si quiere hablar de algo de que cocine, Sería lo ideal, ¿verdad? Porque estábamos hablando de recipes. Nos da las recetas así. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, bye. Take care.